something you probably do not know about me is that when I was growing up, I was in gifted and learning disability classes. I have slight dyslexia and I can't frequently tell if a word is spelled correctly or not. And that's been a problem for me my whole life. And it's really a problem when I'm writing in discussion boards in Canvas, or it used to be. My One of my favorite, and I have many favorite apps, is Grammarly. I like this app so much, I actually have it. There's a Grammarly keyboard for my phone because I just can't tell when I make a spelling error, and this helps me a lot. And so it's free, and you can add it to Firefox, and you can add it to Chrome, and I think you can add it to Internet Explorer, not that I use it. Um, but you'll see when it's activated, it's up here. And it's totally worth, I don't have the paid version. If, it, if they had a slightly less expensive than $11 a month version, I'd probably get it. But I love the fact that it works in Canvas, both when I'm writing um, material. So if I go into my announcements and add an announcement, it will detect if I make a mistake. And those were deliberate, of course, and then you hover over it and you can change it. And you can also open it up, um, wants me to sign in. You don't have to do that. I usually am signed in. But it will usually let you um, open up Grammarly in a new window. Just depending on which browser you're in and your settings are, and it'll kind of open it up to make it a little bit easier to code, but or to work. Coding is what I go to when I'm thinking of typing. But I find this very useful because it does catch comma errors, spelling errors, just about everything. And I encourage my students to use it as well because it works in the discussion board. And it's just better for everybody if grammar is correct, spelling is correct, and this makes it easy. So this would be my app of the week. Love Grammarly, strongly recommend it to everybody. The free version is everything you need.